finished, okay? All right, Anything everybody. That will go. It's too late. We're live already, okay? <laughs> All right, everybody. This is Lindsay Gil Gilchrist of Woodmont Circles, and um, I met Lindsay earlier this year at the uh, NRT Easton. Um, Fair. Some sort of a fair. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I own a real estate company. Well, we're broadcasting from Hub Edge Realty's Facebook page, and you probably know that already. So Lindsay makes these great circles, and she's going to tell us about them. This is her shop here, and um, we're not going to really be able to pan out and see it, but she's got this great shop. And let's go inside, Lindsay. Let's take right. a look and see what we got here. All right, so Lindsay makes these great circles, and I think that these are great if you're a real estate agent, if you're an insurance agent, if you're in the finance industry, if you have some clients that are key clients, or you're just happy and you want to give them a gift that is not a disposable gift, it's something that they can have at their house for a long time. And let's, let's, let's be honest, you want people to think about you when they come home okay and I had a great real estate agent I want my clients to say I had a great real estate agent and I get and this and, and they have to think about you when they come home so anyway Lindsay tell me about what you do so I started this probably back in April I started playing with wood painting as my own little hobby my own little thing quiet time to do when the kids are in bed and I create circles I thought hey I'll create different reclaimed pieces of wood I will personalize them with monogram um, initials um, I'll do Cape Cod we do uh, the Christmas tree and I use a lot of reclaimed wood over here we have a great cedar fencing that I um, was able to take from a home after a car accident, took down the fence, everyone's fine, but I got this beautiful cedar fence. Pieces come from my home that was built in 1868. So when we do renovations, my home will then be passed along to yours. Uh, we have fencing here. So I go out and go wood picking quite often. My kids are quite happy when I say I'm going pallet picking. Who wants to come with me? Now, if and there are any contractors who are watching this video, and you have some wood on your site that you don't want to throw in the dumpster, if you want to contact Lindsay, please. I would be more than happy to take that for you and take that off your hands. Um, this is oak flooring that I was able to take from off a family. They were ready to put it in a bag, bag stir bag, and I said, hey, I'll take that. They saved $200 for not having the bag taken away, and I got their flooring. Um, wonderful signs. Um, I, I also love pallets. Pallets are a favorite. Pallets are a lot of work though. You get them, you gotta take them apart, and then I have my big pile of pallet wood ready to go. Friends will call me and say, hey, I have an end table. I'm getting rid of it. Would you like it? Love it. Take it apart. I've ripped headboards I find on the side of the road. So I am uh, I'm quite the scavenger when it comes to wood. So and then Yes, yeah, so Lindsay is not, you know, she's not killing trees. She's actually saving trees and reusing the trees for different purposes. Absolutely. And then I put all these pieces together and I paint pieces. I do waxing, staining. Um, I will, you know, I'll use a wire brush to do another effect as well. And then I have had so much fun working with Jonathan with his clients. Um, I've been able to create... Uh, Mark and Lucky's Mountain Retreat. Yep, this is one of my, this is the seller of 81 Island Avenue in Quincy. They're building a house up in Maine, and um, this is my gift to them. It looks like, is this is this one with Azac at all? This one does have Azac in it, yep. Okay. So we used Azac in our home, around our windows. I was able to reclaim all of that, which is so much fun. So what do you do? You use a jig and that cuts jig, out yep, all of the... Here's my jig. So okay. what I start off is I use my um, plywood or squares. I lay everything out. I you just... got that from Ikea, by the way. I definitely did. Yeah, all right. <laughs> my, my children, you know, designed it in their own way and it decided to come out to the shed. All right. So, so yeah. Yeah, tell me the process if you can. So I'm sorry. I, you know, decide on the size that you would like. I can go from a 14 inch all the way to my largest has been a 36 by 36, which was a beast and it was beautiful. Um, I lay everything out. I will then glue 
I secure them with nails and screws, and then I use weights here. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Weigh them. Oh, I thought you were lifting. I, I lift. I do <laughs> lift these bad boys. Um, I li set those on, let that dry nice and tidy, <laughs> and then it's time to cut. Okay. So then I use my bandsaw here yeah. to cut my circle. Okay. So I just guide that around. And as you goes. get your circles are pretty circle y. And yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you do that? Do, so you, do you. I used to use a jig. And okay. then my father-in-law said, oh, that's a lot of work. He said, you need a bandsaw. And I said, well, what is that? Yeah. So I have not, I, this has been a very big learning curve. So hold on a minute. So these circles, I mean, do you have a guide for those circles? or? So what I do is I use my ruler. Okay. And depending upon how large you like your circle, my ruler is cut out with different holes. And I basically use it as a trace, a hole here. And I just take this uh, ruler and go all the oh, way wow. around. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so. All right, that's easy. Absolutely. And then from there, you can tell me what you'd like. Yeah. And I personalize it to your customer's choosing, whether it be a mermaid, an anchor. Um, so Lindsay's got this site. It's um, uh, www.woodmontcircles.com. Well, hold on. Before we get there, why is it called Woodmont? I used to live on Woodmont Circle in Connecticut, and it, we were out in the woods, it was beautiful, and my husband's job brought us to Boston, and uh, I was able to take a little bit back with me, so my phone number is still a Connecticut number, and mm -hmm. okay. Woodmont Circles <laughs> All right. is here. Um, so on her site, um, she has a bunch of different palettes, I guess you call them. Yeah, all the different designs, and okay. they're all named, okay. and then the portfolio section is all of my work that I've it. Okay, um, so over here we have uh, some of the pallets. Uh, actually, here's a cool little whale. I mean, maybe if like you're in Nantucket or on the Cape, maybe you have a Cape House. Yeah. That whale is very cute, and that I I think I know that one. I think that's the coastal pallet. It is. Okay. All right. See, yeah. I've been on. <laughs> nice job. This is the driftwood pallet. I yeah. will give quizzes later, but <laughs> they're all named. And this one on the left here. There you go. It, what's the name of that palette? Do you happen to, uh, off the top one, of your head? I know you have like um, 30 or 40. That one, I believe, might be. Drift? It, wait, which one is. Uh, pine. There's like a woodsy one or something yep. like that. Yep, this is the woodland. This That's design woodland. is okay. the woodland. Yeah. Okay. And this one, I think I asked just for a plain one here. It, it, is that. A, um, That one is called Lumberjack, I believe. Okay. Yep. All right, cool. That one's the Lumberjack. All right. So it's been fun making names, giving names. And anything my, else? Go ahead. Got sorry. Lots more up here. This is a stock oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, I have. have yeah, yeah, that's right. Gathered. We'll be adding more to it. Cool. So on my web website, you'll also find the different shows that I'll be attending. You were just um, in Duxbury. I did, was Duxbury in November. I did Jerusalem Road in beginning Cohasset. of December. Cohasset. Oh yeah. Beginning of December. All right, cool. And my next one is going to be the first weekend in March, and that's in uh, West Springfield. All right, cool. So yeah. Lindsay, honestly, if you're a real estate agent, you're a, a mortgage guy. You're you do something related to the house, maybe. These are great gifts. The IRS will give you, I think, twenty five bucks. Uh, the first twenty five bucks will be a write off. I don't know if the IRS has updated their um, um, the amount of money you can give for gifts. And that's it. This is Lindsay, and this is Woodmont Circles. Thank, thank you, you, Lindsay. So much, okay, Dr. seriously. Green. I'm All right. a great fan. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. Bye, you. everybody.